Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you um, some of my troll beads designs uh, that I put together uh, for the month of November. Uh, we have a, a lot of autumnal designs and then a couple uh, designs over here that um, aren't necessarily autumnal but uh, are very pretty anyway so I thought I'd share them with you. Um, I'm going to start with this bangle right here. Um, this was the bangle that I put together to welcome the month of November. Um, it has been a goal of mine uh, this year to um, every month on the 1st use one of my flower of the month uh, silver beads to you know put together a bracelet uh, welcoming uh, that particular month and this is what I came up with for the month of November. I have it on my star bangle and I just have some plain silver stoppers. I have the um, faceted round green calcite, uh, the acorn dreams, a uh, little spacer silver, which I absolutely adore. I wouldn't mind having one more of these. Um, this is the Garden of Affections faceted glass bead that just came out uh, recently for autumn. And then we have the star of the show, at least for this particular uh, design. We have the Chrysanthemum of November, which is a really beautiful showy silver bead. Um, just look at all of that design work and oxidation. Uh, the back is also beautifully detailed with the silver leaves. And then we have this gorgeous green bead here, which is a uh, collective sparkle. And then we have this silver here, which is called Merriness. Um, this came out like maybe two years ago for the autumn collection. And I always have a thing for like these little silver beads that have uh, like a little face peeking out, like a little fairy. Um, but it also features uh, some beautiful fall leaves and vines uh, and little sprigs. So this was my bangle welcoming um, autumn. Let's see here. My next uh, bangle design that I'm going to share is this one here and this is on my twisted silver bangle and this also features a pair of um, plain silver stoppers although I think these were um, some oxidized stoppers that kind of lost their oxidation but uh, let's just see if we can tell um, I don't know, maybe these were it. It's really hard to tell, but these almost seem like they're a little bit uh, darker. But of course, my most recent pair, you can truly tell they're oxidized. But um, going back to this particular bangle design, it has the, let's see here. This one features little acorns, which is this little silver bead right here. It has an oak leaf that kind of wraps around uh, to form the opening of the bead along with a little acorn right there. And then this uh, beautiful bead here is called brush strokes. And unfortunately, under my ring light, um, you can't necessarily see it as well, but this bead, it really does have beautiful uh, chocolate tones to it. 
but like what is appearing to be a very darker chocolate stripe uh, on the bead, like it almost appears uh, like a purple maroon um, in actual sunlight. It is, this is one of those beads that I would highly encourage you to, um, to pick in person if you're able, but uh, definitely a beautiful bead to have in your collection. Uh, we then have the On Top Silver. This here is uh, Strength of Sunset. And this is uh, from the long retired uh, Mysterious Ways kit. But it is a beautiful uh, chocolate brown bead with all of that beautiful um coppery glitter just kind of sprinkled throughout so if you can find that one that's another good one to have uh, here we have the willful owl bead and uh, in its center tummy there you have a beautiful tiger eye and this was uh, fall 2022 I believe and then this gorgeous uh, bead here is the Happy 2023 bead. This one actually has a black core and then it has those uh, crisscross designs uh, done in that beautiful coppery glitter. Like I love pairing um, kind of like blacks and browns together on a bangle. I think they just look so striking and then here we have uh, just the maple leaf bead um, and this one just has all these different maple leaves that are um, joined together forming uh, the opening of the bead so that is another autumnal design my third design, uh, which is also very autumnal, is this bangle here. And uh, this one is just on a plain uh, silver bangle with oxidized uh, stoppers. And this particular glass bead here is the glass from the Growing Love bracelet. Uh, which was a starter bracelet and it is very similar um, to the one Black Friday bead that came out several years back uh, but it has more of a bright green um, overlay over that coppery um, glittery core but I thought it paired beautifully with this glass bead which is also from um, a starter bracelet. This is from the most recent um, Fortune Keepers bracelet. And then the centerpiece is this beautiful uh, Wise Owl retired silver bead. And here we have the front of the Wise Owl bead. And on the back, which unfortunately is not showcased um, in the catalog. Uh, you have a maple leaf with an acorn, but it is just a beautiful um, silver bead, beautifully detailed. As you can see, you can also kind of wear it as a splitter bead on a fantasy necklace, or you can even kind of have him sideways on your bracelet because the hole runs through the bottom and the top but beautiful silver. If you can find it uh, since it's retired, I highly encourage you to get this one too. Heck, I will always encourage one to get troll beads. So um, <laughs> that's completely the truth there. Uh, this beauty here is the new uh, chocolate and cuddles uh, glass bead that released uh, for the um, holiday season, the winter season. I'm not quite sure how Troll Beads refers to it, 
but it is just this gorgeous, gorgeous glass bead that just as you move it around, it just catches the light so beautifully. And then this uh, last little silver bead here is the silver that was part of the Woodland uh, starter bracelet, which was um, from a couple of years ago. So that is the last uh, autumnal uh, design. And then, let's see. This was a foxtail design that I put together uh, for a um, concert that I recently went to. I went to go see uh, Depeche Mode, which is a band from the 80s. Um, for uh, those of you that may know, um, some of you may be a little younger and maybe you've never heard of them, but... For anyone that grew up in the 80s, that was one of the bands um, from the 80s. Uh, and in my opinion, they still are putting out, uh, you know, wonderful music and they are selling out arenas uh, still around the world. But this is the bracelet that I put together uh, in honor of that occasion. Um, this particular uh, clasp is from the Growing Love bracelet uh, and it features uh, all of these kind of um, free form hearts just around the surface of the clasp. And then uh, I did want, you know, just in case my clasp failed, I did want a stopper, and so I did use the seaweed stopper. And then, you know, of course, this was uh, an 80s band, so what is more 80s than, uh, I call these like the Mr. and Miss Pac-Man uh, beads, but they are actually called uh, like Ghost Fighter and Miss Ghost Fighter. So you are looking at Miss Ghost Fighter here. And uh, love that I was able to find those uh, years ago. This uh, beautiful purple glass bead here is from the, uh, I want to say the Lakeside Forest uh, kit. And this is called Violet Flower. And then we have the uh, Dream Azure uh, glass bead. This was a people's bead from, was it last year, 2022? I believe so, Dream Azure. And then this is an older silver. Uh, this is uh, just very modern looking. This is called Two Sides to Everything. And then we have, uh, what is this, Butterfly Bliss. I believe this was spring of this year. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could totally be wrong. I know it's Butterfly Bliss, though. And then this is also from a spring collection from maybe two, three years ago. Um, this is one of those ones that were renamed. Uh, its new name is Free Fantasy, and it is just this gorgeous, gorgeous blue with that shimmer just kind of uh, running throughout. And then we have the Lucky Star silver. This is one that can be used as a splitter. Um, obviously can be used on a bracelet as well. This was actually from Christmas from a couple of years ago is when it came out. And then uh, to kind of tie all these purples and blues together, like the entire inspiration behind this bracelet is this beautiful violet sky 
uh, faceted bead, which is one of the people's beads from this year, 2023. And this one is just... I, I, this one is one of my absolute favorites. Um, in fact, I, I know I voted for this one. But that is Violet Sky. And then we have uh, an older silver. Um, this one is Guiding Star. And then this is a faceted unique uh, that I recently picked up from Troll Beads South Hill Village during their grand event. And then this is the portrait uh, faceted bead. This was uh, from Autumn um, from a few years ago. In fact, the brush stroke speed, which is uh, right here, this was part of the same kit. Like this was a very um, eclectic kit. It had uh, even some greens in there too. Like it was not a very matchy matchy kit at all, but uh, it really did have some beautiful beads um, in that particular kit. So this one is Portrait. And then here we have the um, there is only one you bead. This is probably one of my favorite beads, you know, just to kind of wear as a uh, reminder that there really is only one me. Um, I am unique and, uh, you know, I do my best. And uh, this is a really good reminder of that. One of my favorite silvers. Uh, this here is just a unique. I uh, can't remember exactly um, where or when I picked this one up, but uh, it is kind of, um, at least from this side, you know, from the front profile, it looks fairly opaque. But as you can see, it is on a clear glass uh, base and all those beautiful flowers are kind of painted over top. And then we have uh, the gorgeous dove feathers, which was one of the people's uh, uniques from last year. And then we have uh, Mr. Ghost Fighter. So that uh, is the bead, or the bead. This is the bracelet that I put together in uh, honor of Depeche Mode. Some of my favorite colors and some 80s type icons. All right, so my last bracelet is uh, this one right here. And it features uh, definitely some older troll beads um, along with, you know, a, a few, uh, few silvers that are still in the catalog. So this particular clasp uh, on this foxtail is the clasp from the Time to Fly bracelet, which has all these beautiful leaves. And then the stopper I used on this one is the Heart Spacer has all these little freeform hearts just on the surface. And then we have the This Too Shall Pass. It's one of my favorite little silvers. Uh, this Too Shall Pass Away is what it says. And then we have uh, a longevity bead that I picked up with Troll Beats uh, Partridge Creek at one of their uh, special events that they had this year. And this one is opaque and it is a gorgeous, uh, almost, I don't know, pinky purple mauve, I guess, maybe. It's this beautiful color. Like I swear the color changes depending on the light uh, that you're in. 
And then we have uh, a bead from the long retired Rocky Beach kit. This one is Fossils. And then we have uh, one of my favorite little silvers. This is the Lucky Knot. We have a Troll Agate. This is from Troll Beads Day 2022. Another glass bead from Rocky Beach. This one is the Sand Beach. Then here we have um, a knot. This one is the Humble Knot. And I think the like there was five knots uh, released, all different. And I think it was called the Virtues Collection. But this one is the Humble Knot. It makes for a very interesting little statement on a bracelet there as I twirl it around. Another bead from the Rocky Beach kit. Uh, this one is Clips. And another Troll Beads Day Troll Agate. Like I just feel these troll agates just complement the rocky beach glass beads so beautifully. Here we have another lucky knot. Then we have stone flower. And then this, um, this is from the Mysterious Ways kit. This is one that I actually acquired uh, a few months ago. This one is called uh, Purity and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, almost, uh, I don't know, midnight blue, a little bit lighter than a midnight blue, just a gorgeous blue color, but it's got all that uh, shimmer. So where was the one bangle that had so uh, these two beads right here are from the Mysterious Ways kit. And then here we have um, a Compassion, I believe it's the Compassion Knot. Oh no, I'm sorry, Courage. This one is the Courage Knot from that uh, Virtues, Infinite Virtues collection. And then we have uh, another um, fossils bead. And it's funny, I had ordered what I thought was, well, it was listed as the pebbles bead on the Troll Beads USA website. And I thought, oh gosh, I'm, you know, I'm about ready to get yet another um, bead from the Rocky Beach kit. But it came, um, you know, and it's a fossils bead. And, you know, I'm not sad about it because really and truly, um, I think the fossils bead is probably the prettiest um, from the kit. And uh, I did get two um, beautiful specimens. This one I think has a little bit more blue. This one has more purple, but um, this, hands down, is probably my favorite bead from the Rocky Beach kit. And then we have another Troll Agate. And then the last little silver is this one here. And it is called Love Rings. And you can see there's like a little hidden heart uh, with these uh, little rings that kind of connect and intertwine together. And so um, this is just a little bracelet or a little number that I put together to kind of wear, you know, with a jeans, uh, white t-shirt uh, kind of day. And really and truly, um, can I have a hard time taking this one apart because I just feel that uh, those troll agates just complement uh, the Rocky Beach kit so beautifully. And I just love all these twirly little uh, silvers. Like these are so fun to put together 
on a bracelet design. Like honestly, both of these foxtails are gonna be hard ones to take apart. But um, that is it for Troll Beads Designs. Uh, which bracelet uh, is your favorite out of all of these? Please let me know. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, uh, leave it in the comment. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And uh, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you commented. Um, and if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe because uh, definitely uh, makes me happy when I see that I'm reaching other Troll Beats fans out there. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.